Right, so I wanna speak about the single most important concept in the SEO space. And if you don't do this, most likely you'll fail. And this is a very boring concept, but if you can grasp what it is, how to do it and why you should do it, you'll see success with your SEO efforts, guaranteed, right? And what this is, is, and please don't click off, but it is keyword research. I know, super basic, like, give me like 10 seconds or 30 seconds, I'll explain to you why. The thing with keyword research is you have to know essentially what keywords your buyers are searching for to then produce content around those keywords to rank that content on Google, right? For example, if you have a store, Shopify store that sells dog collars, right? Let's say they sell, sell dog food, right? You first need to put yourself in the customer's shoes and think, okay, if I were a customer for my for this brand and if I wanted to buy dog food, what would I be searching for on Google, right? What would I be as a potential customer searching for on Google to actually want to buy something from, from this brand. That's the very first thing. The second thing is that you gotta figure out the buyer intent keywords. Super, super important, right? Because for example, he's in the same niche, the same realm, actually let's just do a different, different niche. For example, phone repair. If I had an iPhone repair shop, I wouldn't want to be ranked for keywords like how to repair my iPhone, right? I would want to be ranked for keywords like repair my iPhone now or repair my iPhone city, right? How much is to repair my iPhone? Where to repair my iPhone? Because those keywords, where, how, how much, places, those are buyer intent keywords. Keywords like how to repair my iPhone, it signals that the intent of the user, is the search intent of the user, is to find an article on how they themselves can repair the iPhone. And me, as an iPhone store or iPhone repair shop, I don't want people, I don't want people to repair their iPhones. I want them to come to me so I can repair them their iPhone so I can make money, right? So the very first thing, again, is to place yourself in the customer's shoes and then try and find buyer intent keywords. Now, of course, it is important to rank for non-buyer intent keywords, right? Keywords that are brand, branded so you can rank for your brand name. Uh, keywords that are not buyer intent so you can build up these topical relevance in your niche. However, the single most important keywords to rank for are buyer intent keywords. And those are the ones that you should focus more on because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, sorry, SEO is a marketing strategy to make you more money, right? At the end of the day, you want to make more money. And the way you make money is to is by targeting buyer intent keywords, by putting yourself in the customer's shoes and targeting and, and figure, figuring out, okay, what would this be, person be searching for if they wanted to buy my product or service? And that's exactly what you need to do with your keyword research. Now, again, this is a super boring concept because people just want to focus right off the bat in backlinks and content. But if you don't nail the content for which the, the, the keywords, sorry, for which you're producing content for, or the keywords for which you're building backlinks on, it, it's pointless because you might be doing and spending all this money and time into into pointless efforts, right? So you gotta nail down the keywords. Also, you don't just do this once and then stop, right? Don't do that. Why? Because the markets are constantly changing, right? Something that was relevant a month ago might not be relevant today, right? Uh, you might be adding new services to your business, new product, new product, sorry. So just by adding an, one new product to your Shopify store or whatever, your service, you wanna, want, you're going to want to be doing keyword research for that product to figuring out what people are searching for in that niche, right? So again, this is constantly changing. You got to be doing keyword research on maybe a month to month, month or two month to two month basis. Because again, markets change, people's interests change. You add new products, you add new services, you, add, you find different ways of doing stuff. Uh, technology evolves. So because all that evolves and things change, also the way in which people search for things and what they search for also changes. So that's why it's the single most important thing and the most important concept in SEO. It's the keywords. It's funneling people that are searching for something to your business. Again, I know this is boring and I know most people won't do this, but it is super, super important. Now you can do this uh, with the, there's a bunch of different tools that do this. I mean, you can even do it manually. You can even, like I said before, the best way I like to do it is to put myself in the customer's shoes and think, okay, what would I be searching for? If you want to use tools, I mean, there's Ahrefs, there's Semrush. You can even use this one. Full disclosure, this is my tool, which is here to the dashboard. And my goal with this video is not to promote this tool at all, but just to give you an idea, just go to keyword monitors, uh, new monitor, add your monitor name, your website URL, the country, the language. And I'll show you here a quick example because I don't want to be boring with this. Let's say, for example, this is a site in the gardening niche, US. And essentially what this does is it takes all this info plus the competitor, competitor's info and it comes up with a list of keywords that have low SEO difficulty, 
that are easy to rank for in theory and somewhat decent uh, monthly search volumes. For example, if we go through these ones, let's say gardening 101 PDF. And this, this actually is a great keyword, right? Because people searching for gardening 101 PDF, firstly, gardening 101, you know these are newcomers to the space, people that are just getting started in gardening, right? Which is good, you gotta, you've segmented your audience with this. PDF, it's people that are newbies, newer, newcomers to the space, and they want, they want something to read, right? They wanna take action, and this gets 40 searches per month, which might not seem like a lot, but again, these are very targeted searches. And by building an article and building a piece of content uh, that targets this keyword and ranks for this keyword, you can even do a lead magnet. And if, they, if they want access to the PDF, they have to put in their email. By putting in their email, they get actually the, the PDF and then you retarget them with your products or services. So there's so much you can do here, right? And you can scream to, scheme through more of these. I mean, there, there's a bunch of them here. And my goal is again, not to, use, not to make you use this keyword, this tool, sorry, Journalist AI, Fragile.com, sorry, but it's to get you to think and get you in, into the mindset of what you need to be doing. It's the very first thing you need to do is the keyword research. So, 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 so important. And I regret, like, I, I told this story a while back. Uh, when I first got started in the SEO, I, I completely skipped this, this, uh, this step. I just went out to build a content because I thought I knew what I wanted to do. I, I, I built links, I did all this stuff. And then, yeah, I was ranking, but for the wrong stuff, right? The worst thing you want to do is be spending time doing the wrong stuff. You want to do the right thing as fast as possible. And the best way to mitigate that, to mitigate the, the risk of not doing the, wrong, the right stuff, the wrong, sorry, the right stuff, yeah, is to do keyword research. Again, boring, but it's super, super important. So hopefully with this video, you get, um, you get a bit more. By the way, this is my marketplace, uh, SEO services marketplace, vet.com, vet.com with three T's. But yeah, if you, that's, again, the single, single biggest, single most important thing. So do it. Uh, that's the video. Like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.